the two meet once again, this time for a chance in the state semifinals. The storms last night weren't the only claps of thunder making noise as Oklahoma City successfully traded. If you see those lights right there, that's UCO. That's where the state championship game will be played at next week. Great offensive line that you have. There you have a lot of size. How were y'all able to be more physical than that Jasper defensive front to create those opportunities? It started here in Gainesville and then continued the journey at East Central. Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott arrived at the federal courthouse here in Sherman. He gets in for the score, so add six more to the board. Dennison scoring, and that is Ty McPhail yet again. While many teams rely heavily on their upperclassmen, the Clemson underclassmen definitely put that theory to the test. But it's here in White Wright where the former Tiger credits learning his work ethic and the confidence to achieve his dreams. And new tonight, high school football season is coming to an end. That means athletic departments will soon learn the financial impact caused by fewer people at the games due to the COVID-19 pandemic. KTRE's Jeremy Thomas shares how UIL restrictions created some challenges for athletic teams. Because of the pandemic, the UIL created rules for athletes, coaches, and spectators to follow this season. From wearing a face mask to social distancing and allowing for 50% capacity at games. Marty Merce, an Augustine ISD's athletic director, says that their band program took a hit due to low concession sales. Well, that's our band's biggest, I guess, fundraiser, you'd want to call it. But uh, it, it supplements the program pretty well, so they lost some money. We lost some money on sub varsity games and stuff, and the 50% capacity is, it affects you financially. Um, nothing as big as the track season, not having track last year was huge um, for our athletic program, probably in the sum of fifteen dollars to $20,000. Supplement being a key word, as Huntington ISD's athletic director, Sean Jones, says their programs do not rely specifically on game day funds. We budget and fund for programs, period. So because we were at 50% capacity, uh, less concession sales, that doesn't affect any other program. It doesn't affect football. It, it might affect the overall budget as a, as a shortfall in that area, in those two accounts but it won't affect any program. Lufkin ISD's athletic director Todd Quick says in previous years, fundraising opportunities helped fill in the gap from state funding to help purchase the equipment for athletes. This year, that has been impacted. You can't put kids out there on the road right now knocking on people's doors. You're not going to do it. And, and so um, it, it's going to be an impact. It's not going to keep us from doing what we need to do and our kids having what they should have. Uh, it just may slow down the, you know, the, the wish list. Jeremy Thomas, KTRE East Texas News 9.